two able to meet the points tally required to get into postseason, but there's a lot of individual talent on show selected by Landon Donovan and Bev Yanez. But also you want to think about the players and their safety. What's ironic, Mark, is actually Louisville's field can find itself not looking very good, and I'm surprised after three games this week it looks this good. Decent ball through for Hannah Lundqvist. It goes from Cascarino and so close. We could have had a goal inside 90 seconds, but it all started from Lundqvist. She made that kick save. Fantastic save for a player who's played every minute of every game. Comes out and gets two fists on that one. And anywhere will do from Janine Becky. It's corner number two, a bright start. From the home side, playing away from home. That's a great delivery and all the way in, a goal just after oh, two minutes. Man. The deadlock is broken and it's San Diego Wave who have the lead. Well, that is exactly how you would write up the first couple minutes of this game away from home. You're the home team and Jaden Shaw just sends it into the mix. And with those runs across the face of Katie Lund, she has to be mindful of them. It doesn't even get a touch, but she's going towards the near post like Carusa is going to get a touch. And then Carusa last second can't get there, ends up sneaking in the back of the net. That's what we call a perfect shot cross there, Mark. Well, it's one of these that if it doesn't get the touch, it can go in at the back post. Now, the big question for Kira Carusa is how honest does she want to be? Does she... We'll try and test Kaelin Sheridan in goal for San Diego. Five gone. Up and over, just too high. Yeah, it, it, it's a little confusing, but one of the things I think we should shout out is just Louisville having a venue that is available and being willing to host this. Look at all the people in the stands on short notice. Three on three here on the layoff back by Jaden Shaw. Good battling in there, and here's an opportunity for Lundqvist. It's a good stop. Could she have taken it first time? Kayla Fisher's gone through the middle. Might be an option here. And the Sears can get beyond Moroni, which she does. That's a good delivery as well. Off the bar. Whether or not goalkeeper Kaelin Sheridan got a touch. Free kick too in this moment. But on the other side, this is the best attack we've seen from Louisville. And this is what they want. Emma Sears sizing up 1v1. Long touch, athletic ability to get past Moroni here. And that's the target you want. Bethany Balser was brought in this team to be their nine. Their goal scorer, the player that can find the back of the net for them. And she's done that two times since she came over. The width has been utilized by both sides. End-to-end -end stuff now, heavy touch, and the challenge coming in from Ellie Jean wasn't good enough. No. And you give one of the best left foots an opportunity here at the top of the box. Yeah, this is dangerous. Maria Sanchez makes it two. Absolute perfection. Went for precision over power. She ends up with perfection, 2-0. Well, this is why she is the best left-footed player in attack in NWSL. She has the precision. It hits off the post. That is how narrow. Look at the bend on that inside of the left foot. Just whips it in around the wall. Lund can't quite get there. Excellent. Two goals within the first 25 minutes. Right mentality from Landon Donovan and his crew coming in from what was a really difficult travel day. <laughs> yeah. Going from a home game to a away game. More on that in a second as Maria Sanchez from distance. The appeal that there might have been a touch from Katie Lund, but there wasn't. Lisa looking for options. It was Cascarino that had gone into the middle. In by shot. Off the posts. Keeper came, didn't get there, and McKenzie Toniak. Sears up slightly, but Jaden Shaw has been floating everywhere and really pulling the strings for San Diego. Probably thinks she should have a goal and assist because this was on a platter for Van Egdman. Oh, it, it's a good save. slightly hit off of Lund's back. It yeah, is. a good save. ESPN Studios back at HQ in Bristol, Connecticut. Good from Malay. by Balser. Not quite from Becky, but that was a good run. She realized she had a little bit of pressure. The only issue for Bev Yanez will be that she hasn't been troubled enough in 
this first half. Can she be from Louisville's first corner? Goal kick. I just wonder if they're maybe going to sit on this lead or if they are going to try and hit on the counter or maybe press forward like this. The layoff by Shaw and the effort from the sub, Ali. Ten minutes gone in the second half. San Diego leading. Facing Louisville by two goals to nil, looking for a third. Defended initially, but then couldn't clear. It's Delphine Cascarino. Just can't clear their lines here, racing Louisville. Oh. Good feet by Doniak. Big opportunity. And then off the bar by Mackenzie Doniak. And that's San Diego's season in a nutshell right there isn't it just action from the Sanchez and this is a player with such a good story grew up having to play with the boys because the quarters of the way through proceedings the Lynn family stadium in Louisville they're coming forward again Let's see if there's any quality on the end product there was there and the follow-up is in it's game on and it's one back for Louisville. They just needed quality from wide areas. They get it. And now they'll fancy their chances of taking something from this game. On this side, and then it's a good progression. Gorgeous to DeGrande. And then this ball from Courtney Peterson is so good. The run from Fisher comes from deep. So she can time it here to perfection. Ends up going off the post. But this is what Bethany Balser has made her living out of. Being in the right place, keeping herself alive. Look at her just guide her body, watch where the ball is going once it goes on frame, and readjust so she's in the right place at the right time. Savannah McCaskill pulls her on side. That's going to be a really nice team. It's a good ball. It's a simple but a very effective pass for Savannah McCaskill. Here's an opportunity for Jaden Shaw. Oh. Plenty power. The goalkeeper. And Sheridan. What a save by Katie Lund. And Katie started to dive where she thought the ball was going, and <laughs> we all thought the ball was going. 15 to go. This is a good spell for San Diego. It's like the missing Louisville goal has re energized them. Looking for another one. They get it through Savannah McCaskill. The substitute only on the field for nine minutes makes it San Diego three, Louisville one. And where does the start mark? It's on that right side where they've had joy all year long. Some fans made the trip. Probably some McCaskill fans because she grew up in South Carolina. Not maybe one of the closest places they can come and see her play here in Louisville. And this ball goes through, and look at the work from Cascarino. She already knows where the run should be. So it's your it's your job as the runners in the box to fill in those gaps. And here Savannah McCaskill comes in as a late substitute. Just jumps up and over, heading this one into the back of the net. That's what's nice about the fluidity of this system. She comes in typically at 10, but can fill in at any position. Just kill a fisher. Why not? She didn't quite get the purchase she was hoping for. She came close with the header that hit the post, but sooner rather than later to give them a chance racing Louisville. And Louisville scored five goals this year in, in stoppage time at the right. end of the game. Butcher does well, and that is really close. I was going to say, make that six. <laughs> Parker Goins, the substitute. As this game starts to wind down, Mark, I think it's just nice to put a bow on this season because it's been a great 2024 Good. season in NWSL. Over 2 million fans came out and watched games. Increased attendance. Good hands by Kaelin Sheridan. We've seen records broken where Orlando... have had really good seasons. Those are your top four seeds. But others will be out to upset the apple cart next weekend when the playoffs begin. It's a nice way to finish the season for San Diego Wave.